Hi, I'm Bill McAnally with Touchstone Energy and the Together We Save program. The next wall section we have is, uh, is exterior construction. This one we're highlighting more um, a, a typical installation of one inch foam over studs. Um, like we've mentioned in, in the other exterior construction one, you can sheet the outside with OSB and cover with foam if you want the extra structural strength. Usually what we do though is, is not put any OSB or plywood on the outside of the framing is use uh, two inch metal wind bracing and run at least two in each corner so you would have two going one way and then two the other so 90 degrees to that. Um, the one inch foam again uh, is, acts as the thermal brake to prevent any thermal bridging. We have the commercial Tyvek on the outside, um, house wrap, sometimes home wrap. They're all pretty much the same product but the commercial wrap again is for if the builder is going to be taking a little bit longer on his house. Now there's another product called stucco wrap and then uh, drainage wrap. They look like an accordion when you know they're just uh, uh, tall fissures and, and fish or deep fissures and, and ridges so that you can put that behind your siding as a drainage plane. Uh, it works very well so if you don't want to go with uh, the wood strips or plastic strips to hold your siding out you can use that product. This uh, shows what pretty much in Iowa what we're using most of the time anyway is vinyl people that like vinyl siding. Um, Remember, it always has to be loose. Uh, you have to be able to move it back and forth, otherwise it voids the warranty. But customers have to remember that any siding, even, e even cladding like brick, that moisture always gets through it. So attention to detail on the drainage plane, the rain screen, everything behind the siding to keep that water out of the cavity. We, we have to really be t paying a special attention around windows, doors, any perforation because we have to remember that with, for every 10 miles an hour in wind, that any rain-driven wind or wind-driven rain, uh, it'll climb at least an inch uh, behind the siding. So if we have a 40 mile an hour rain, it's going to, or 40 mile an hour wind, it's going to drive the rain in and drive it up four inches. So we really have to pay attention to detail. <laughs> I think I.